6.43 and all of a sudden, the tropics are active. We have a lot to talk about. Now we're going to start uh, with a storm that uh, actually, unfortunately, both storms looking stronger today and both looking like they're going to bring more impacts today. Uh, this is Aaron. It was a tropical depression yesterday, but overnight became tropical storm Aaron. Barely 40 mile per hour sustained winds still looking pretty weird looking. The center is here, but all the activities to the south. So wind wise, yeah, this is a threat. It'll maintain its strength as a weak tropical storm before the winds die down as it moves into cooler waters. But one little change to the forecast. It does look like it's going to get closer to the coast. Not enough for the winds to be an issue for the northeast, but the moisture, that tropical moisture, it's still coming up and it's going to merge with a cold front and it's going to trigger flooding in the northeast. The rainfall totals have been going up and up, and we do think there's a possibility of flooding, especially in Maine, but perhaps even in the Boston area. Uh, they're this far in the northeast being impacted by a tropical system, even though they're not under the cone. That's a very great example of why you don't have to be in the cone to have impacts from a storm, because it's going to flood in the northeast because of Aaron, even though Aaron's not going to pass right over them. All right, now on to Dorian, which is going to be even worse. Today is going to be a bad day in Puerto Rico. It's probably going to just stay a tropical storm, but it is stronger today. 60 mile per hour sustained winds and the forecast for the U.S. keeps getting worse and worse. Why? Because it looks like it keeps shifting this track forecast east. All the models keep bringing it farther east and that's bad. It keeps it out over the open water, really warm water. And it looks like the wind shear is going to die. The combination of warmer waters, not as much wind shear, it's not good. It's going to probably continue to string to a Category 1 hurricane. And right now, it looks like it's going to be a Category 2 hurricane as it pushes into Florida. Now, where exactly in Florida, or perhaps even in Georgia, that's a possibility, is still a question. But we think things are going to really go downhill Sunday. And landfall right now looks like sometime Sunday night. And oh man, is there going to be a lot of rain. Uh, the question is, of course, how bad are the winds going to be? But what we know for sure, no matter how strong the winds end up being, is there's going to be torrential rain. And right now, this is an average of the models. There's some models that have scarier rainfall totals than this. But uh, right now, the average is about a foot of rain in some parts of Florida, especially the northern part of the state. Meanwhile, here in the valley, this is a seven day rain forecast, a whole lot less rain because Dorian, no models bring it over here. But another little tropical wave is going to move over us. It'll enhance rain chances, especially actually Monday and Tuesday look like the wettest days over the next seven days. So we're talking isolated showers and storms with the sea breeze. There's going to be more rain near the coast than out in Star County. Most of us are probably going to see less than a half an inch for the next week. But I do think there are going to be a couple spots in the valley that are going to see one to two inches of rain. That's not going to happen today, but there is a chance of rain starting today. It's a very small chance, a 10% chance of showers, so 90% of us are going to stay dry today. It's just going to be a little bit more cloud cover than yesterday, partly to mostly sunny skies. Still going to be very hot. Highs around 102, not as breezy as yesterday, about 5 miles per hour less. Gusts more around 20 miles per hour instead of 25. Of course, there's another heat advisory. It could feel worse this afternoon. I'll be honest with you because the temperatures are worse and the humidity is about the same. It's not going to feel any cooler than 110. Could feel as bad as 115 in a few locations. And notice the entire valley under a heat advisory today. 78 for our low tonight. It's going to be quiet, mostly clear, muggy. Again, it, it looks completely dry tomorrow. Just a 10% chance of rain Friday, 20% Saturday, 10% Sunday. The better rain chances are Monday and Tuesday. And hopefully, hopefully on Tuesday, we'll finally get to normal temperatures for this time of year on your first one five AccuWeather forecast. More news in just a bit.